Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel. <laughs> it's been a while. <laughs> I'm going to be just doing my makeup. It's not going to be an actual makeup tutorial, but I kind of have a fair idea of what I'm wanting to do and I'm going to be using some new products as well. And I'm going to be doing a Q&A because in my three weeks that I have so generously took off to myself i have noticed that i have a lot of new subscribers so if you have subscribed to me in the past few weeks that i've been gone thank you so so much it is awesome to have you here and yeah i just really like doing q a because it just kind of lets you guys get to know me a wee bit more like behind all the makeup and stuff. I'm not going to prime today because I already have the sweet face mask on. I bought this the other day because I seen Imogen Nation. Imogen? Imogen Nation? You know how I'm talking about. She's a YouTuber over in the UK. She recently talked about this in one of her hauls and it's basically just a leave on water mask and this is from Superdrug. It's their own brand. You leave it for about five to ten minutes and then you can rub in the excess but what I have been doing the past couple of days is I've been putting on like a thick-ish layer and leaving it to completely soak in and dry into the skin and I've noticed that it actually leaves a wee bit of tack to the skin so that's why I've been using it as like a base slash primer because it is sticky it might just like stick to the foundation and so far so good I really really do enjoy using it so that's what it looks like there it kind of just looks like a water gel so first off whenever I used it I thought it was actually going to break down into like a water like consistency but it actually does stay quite thick so then that obviously gives it time to soak into the skin. I'm using the Fenty Beauty foundation in the shade 220. Okay so we have we have quite a lot here. <laughs> Recently I've actually been loving using a brush for my foundation. I don't know why, I just kind of find that I'm just able to like stipple areas and then just buff in in other areas if... Well, recently, I don't know if you can notice or not, but I have been break night really really bad. I think I mentioned this in one of my last videos and my god, it's... It's a bit of a situation. In my previous video I was like, oh it's cute, it's only a couple of spots, whereas now it's like, okay Satan, what's the deal? So obviously in areas where I do have some breakouts, I'll be able to like stipple and apply more product there. Once I actually have all the foundation on my skin, I then just like to go in with a beauty sponge and just furthermore, just blend it into the skin, just so that there's not any brush strokes or brush marks up close or anything. Just, just do that chin. Oh, questions, god. Do you miss hairdressing? Absolutely fucking not. Um, <laughs> hairdressing is the worst possible job ever unless you actually like doing the job and it's your passion. Don't get me wrong, whenever I was doing hairdressing, I loved it. It's what I wanted to do. It's what I wanted to be. I just wanted to be known as being a hairdresser. And the salon I was in was absolutely horrific, if I'm being honest. And that's the salon that I actually ended up leaving, as well as all the other staff members. So it kind of just shows you what the salon was actually like. And I'm saying no more. I'm just going to tie my hair up out of the way because it's driving me insane. The next question is, how long have I been doing makeup? Um, why am I having to think about this? I've been doing YouTube two and a half years. I have been putting makeup on my face since I was about 15. Um, I've never actually done makeup before, if that's kind of what that question means. This is actually quite a funny one. Well, it's not a funny one, it's funny to me. But this is one question that I actually noticed I did get a few of. Um, are your nails fake? And if so, do you get them done in a salon or do you do them yourself? My nails are real. <laughs> My nails are all real, they are all me. I'll show you them actually. Hold on to clean them a wee bit. So, these are my real nails and as you can see, the shape of them, especially these ones here, um, they go in the way. They're just the, the oddest shape of nails ever um, and that's because they are my own nails. I've never got them done before. I've never got them shaped. I've never had a gel polish. I've never had, I've just never had my nails done. And the reason for that is because concealer. Um, the next can't stop, won't stop. I just realised what I said there and the reason is concealer. I used to be a severe nail biter. Thankfully, I stopped biting my nails before I done YouTube. 
Um, the reason I think I stopped biting my nails is because obviously I was doing hairdressing at the time and obviously whenever you're working so close up and personal to people's heads and faces and stuff, having disgusting nails isn't necessarily ideal. Honestly, I'm not exaggerating, but these nails here, I had no nail. I actually chewed the nail bed and everything down to, I would say, like down to basically where my cuticle would be. I chewed the actual nail off. I would suffer from but I'm not as bad now. I would have suffered from social anxiety and I would be naturally a very nervous person. Um, so I constantly bit my nails. I was a severe nail biter. This NYX concealer I haven't actually tried before. It's the first time I'm using it. Um, I was in Superdrug the other day and I bought a pair of new makeup. I bought them new Makeup Revolution concealer and a foundation. I'm not too sure if I'm wanting to do a full dedicated video on it or do a wear test and review in a vlog um, because obviously I've started daily vlogging. I was just going to set everything in place and this is the MAC Prep and Prime Translucent Powder. I absolutely love this powder. It is absolutely amazing. It just makes your skin look poreless and airbrushed and just absolutely, just absolutely fabulous. Next question is, people you can't stand on YouTube, etc, etc. Also, how you became so fabulous at makeup. <laughs> Thank you so much. Um, practice makes perfect, even though I'm not perfect. Um, people I can't stand on YouTube. Oh, that's really a hard one. Jake Paul. Did you get your nose pierced again? Yes. <laughs> yes, I did. Would you ever do other people's makeup? You're so talented. Thank you so much, Fiona. Um, definitely not. Hate it. Um, I've never really done anybody's makeup anyway to actually get a feel of it and actually see how I like it. Doing other people's makeup is so different to actually doing your own. I'm also going to use the Revolution Pro setting powder. It's the white one. This is honestly not for the faint hearted, but I just like to take the tiniest wee bit of it and just place it underneath my eyes. But as you can see, it really, <laughs> it really does brighten. So I also like to take a wee bit of my chin as well to see balance out the centre of my face. Ooh, I also got this new the other day. This is the new L'Oreal Chic and Glow Illuminating Spray. I've heard Kathleen Lights talking about this and she said it smells nice, so let's get a whiff. I honestly couldn't smell that at all, so I'm just going to spritz my face with this just before I go in with highlight, bronzer and blush. Why? 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 Okay, I really like that mister. <laughs> that mister. <laughs> mister, mister. Kapow! Do you regret leaving your job for YouTube? P.S. Love your videos. Thank you so much. 100% um, not. That's honestly the biggest leap ever that I've ever done. Like, I basically left my career. Um to become a full-time stay-at-home daughter. <laughs> no, I basically left a career, basically, to literally sit in my room all day and put makeup on my face. You can just imagine how scary that is. I had very little money behind me. I was risking everything, but my situation at that moment of time in the salon was severely damaging my mental health and I could honestly feel it. I was very, very, very unhappy. I was a little damaged lamb, basically. <laughs> I knew it was the best thing for me, so I do not regret it, 100%. Best eyelash glue for strip lashes. Um, the Ardell one is the one I always use. Everybody talks about that duo lash. I cannot have that eyelash glue and I do not know why. I would advise you to just try it quite a few to see what one you actually prefer yourself. Um, because I know I have took a few reactions to different eyelash glues. So the Ardell eyelash adhesive, the lash grip one, and I use it in black. I am a force to be reckoned with. I use my wee AOA Studio Wonder highlight and I've also been highlighting recently with a fan brush. Next I'm gonna go in with my old friend Colourpop Flexitarian. I, I actually still get people sending this to me on Snapchat and stuff. <laughs> like it must just seem to like mind use of me which I ain't mad at. Him. This is the Sephora Colourful Matte Blush in the shade. <clears throat> I'm in love. 
and it's just this really nice pink shade. The next question is best and worst parts of YouTube. So the worst parts of YouTube is it's quite a lonely job and I'm not gonna lie. It's a very lonely job. Whenever you think about it, I'm in my house all day, every day, <laughs> by myself. Um, obviously until my parents get home from their job and then I'm fine, it's grand, they're home all evening, but it is a very lonely job. I don't see very many people, I don't get talking to very many people. That's probably the worst part of YouTube, the fact that I don't get out as much anymore to obviously what I used to. I'm not around other people. It's a very isolating job and it's it can get very, very lonely. The best part of YouTube is 100% you guys obviously. I'm able to contact, I'm able to connect with you from anywhere around the world. It's just absolutely amazing. I love it. I never thought in a million years I would be talking to someone on my Snapchat from Jamaica or getting a message from somebody from Pakistan or you know talking to somebody from Brazil or anywhere. It's just it's crazy and it's just really humbling. It's just it just, it's just really good. <laughs> just, it's just really, really nice. Will you ever grow your eyebrows out and if not, why? Um, oh god, that's a tough one actually. <laughs> For something so simple, that's actually really hard to answer. Um, probably not. Um, but hopefully in years to come I will actually gather up the balls to actually grow them out because I do not want to be 40, 50, 60 and still having to draw my eyebrows on, you know what I mean? Did I go to a beauty school? Um, no, I didn't actually. That's actually one thing I noticed that I have quite a lot of questions about. Asking, um, did I ever get qualified to do makeup or something like that, I don't know, but no. So uh, Gabriella asked how old are you? I am 26 years old. I was 26 last Wednesday. <laughs> My days left on this earth are numbered. Where do I see myself in five years time? Um, happy, <laughs> I hope, and hopefully in my own house. I don't necessarily want to be 31 and living in my mum's house. Definitely happy and healthy. And I know that sounds like really cliche and just like <laughs> boring, <laughs> but honestly, yeah, 100%. I'm honestly still yet to get that bloody P. Louise IBS. <laughs> At this stage, I think I actually might be the only person that doesn't actually have it. Do you ever suffer from mental health? A wee while back I was slowly drifting down that line, as I had mentioned earlier about the salon that I was in. I just really was in a scary and unhealthy frame of mind. Um, but then obviously I was able, thankfully I was able to get myself out of that. Do you ever feel in competition with other YouTubers? Yes with my image and my content. I sometimes find that because I don't do like these challenges and these exciting videos and PR hauls and stuff like that, that sometimes my content isn't enough. I just don't like doing the types of videos that everybody does just to get views and clicks and whatever. I would rather put up a video that I know that I'm passionate about, which is makeup. Not always, but now and again, obviously, I do compare my content to other YouTubers. Um, but I just kind of think that it's normal. I also compare my looks to other YouTubers as well, actually. I know there are a lot of influencers out there that haven't had work done. And God forbid you still have your actual teeth that you were born with. I haven't had my lips done. I haven't got a nose job. I haven't had filler. I haven't had anything and most of them have and yes I get it most of them haven't as well. It's actually crazy to think that I'm sure at some stage in my life somebody has actually compared themselves to me whenever I'm comparing myself to others. You know like the person that you could be comparing yourself to could more than likely be comparing themselves to somebody else. It's just a natural thing. You know, like YouTube would be a very boring place if we all done the same content, if we all looked the same. You know, it's nice to have a variety of content and a variety of people to actually watch. I'm gonna be using this wee e.l.f. palette here. This is the Sculpting Silk Eyeshadow Palette. I'm gonna take this 
shade here just for my transition and then I'm just going to take it just on my usual Kylie Jenner blending brush. Have you been on any trips with any makeup brands and if not were you offered would you go? If I was asked I would go depending on the brand, depending on what it's for. It all just kind of depends and it kind of depends on what I want as well actually. Um, but recently <laughs> I was offered to go to New York and I was offered to go to London and I declined both of them. Um, not for any reason, I just just didn't want to. <laughs> I deserve a kick up the ass. <laughs> Do you have any beef with any other YouTubers? Yes. <laughs> I'm always joking. <laughs> no. What UK and Irish YouTubers do you watch? Um, I watch a few people from Belfast. Um, Chloe Morton and Samantha... Samantha Gold. I obviously watch Dramatic Mac. YouTubers from the UK, I watch Jordan Lipscomb. Stephanie Toms. I actually don't mind Stephanie. <laughs> uh, she makes me giggle. Nikki Secret. Lucy Stevenson. Uh, my favourite perfume. Um, Paco Rabanne, Lady Million. And Giorgio Armani. C? Si? C si or Si? I don't know. The red one. Would you ever do a makeup collab? Like, for an example, a makeup revolution or something? Yes. <laughs> Yes, 100%. Although it kind of depends on the brand. I think I'd be very picky on who I would want to work with, if that makes sense. Would I ever bring out merch? Yes! Someone the other day, just recently, said to me about merch and I was like, piss off. <laughs> but then I actually started get to get really thinking about it and I was like, yeah, that's actually quite a good idea. But it's like, merch has to be really you if that makes sense. Like I don't know what type of merch I would bring out. I would have no idea. Like do I have a slogan that I always say? I don't know. I'm actually gonna jump onto my lips before I actually start on finishing my eyes. So I'm gonna be using I think probably this one. In my vlog I did mention that this brand has sent me a lot of products although I think in the vlog I had only shown the lip products but they had also sent me a load of other stuff so I'm actually intending on doing like a full dedicated video to those products but I'm first of all just going to be using this lip colour here and the brand is Colour vs Skin and these are the three shades of liquid lipsticks I was sent. I was also sent some bullet lipsticks as well but on the website I actually was on looking to see what other shades they have. They have an absolute load of lipsticks. They're all quite different as well actually. Like as you can see, you do have your neutral colours, you do have your nudes, you have like a coral, you have a bright pink and they also have like purple and like peacock green and stuff. Really really nice. This is the shade I'm going to be using today which is in the shade Loving Leah and the girl that actually owns this company, she did reach out to me and she did say that it was her granddaughter that actually picked this colour and named it and stuff so thought that was really really cute. Then she had said that she wanted me to have this colour so obviously I have to use it and that's it there. I will link the website down below as well if you want to have a wee nose or anything. So I'm just going to lay my lips. Oh my god I'm talking that much my mouth is filling up with spit. <laughs> That's actually really nice. Ah! I'm going to take the darkest shade and slightly deepen up my crease a bit more. Uh, can you tell us three destinations of dream vacation for you? Um, that's an easy one. Colombia, Brazil and Tokyo. Would you ever come to Belfast for a meet and greet? 100% yes! But I just know that I would be shitting my pants. Do you ever wish you could move somewhere else outside your country? Definitely not. I will never leave Ireland. I actually notice I'm getting quite a few questions about meet and greets. Like would I ever come to a certain country? Would I ever do meet and greet? So yes to all of them by the way if that is something you asked. <laughs> Do you actually think your old eyebrows looked good? If you had have asked me, do you, did you think your old eyebrows looked good? I wouldn't think anything of that. But it's the fact that you said, did you actually think that your old eyebrows looked good? But to answer your question, no. I didn't think they looked good. Holy hell. <laughs> oh my god. Um, 
Oh, they were awful. If you didn't do makeup on YouTube for a job, what would your dream job be and why? Um, I don't actually think I've ever spoke about this before, but I would love to go to the army. Or would have loved to go to the army. I always have. I've always had an interest in it. I've always kind of wanted to go to the army. <laughs> And you might look at me right now and think, oh hell no, that bitch would not cope. But I might be girly girly and I love to get dressed up and whatever, but trust me, I am not scared to get a bit of dirt under these nails. I do not know how I'm going to do a liquid liner and talk at the same day. <laughs> if you had to choose between one brand for a full face of makeup from primer to setting spray, foundation, whatever, what would it be? Colourpop? 100%. I love Colourpop. 100%. So I'm just going to use the Kat Von D Tattoo Liner and I'm just going to do my wing. Boom! Okay, so next up for lashes, the Soul Lashes or the Bellagio Lashes. The Bellagio Lashes are in the style Burlesque and the Soul Lashes are in the style... Doesn't say. Great! I'll zoom in so you can actually see what they both look like on. So these are the Bellagio ones. Obviously, keep in mind they're not glued down. And then these are Soul ones. I think I might actually take these off to go to the cinema because they're absolutely... Hilarious. <laughs> what the hell? Okay, I think I might have to actually change my mind. They're maybe a wee bit too big. Okay, so I'm going to use T lashes and these are in the style Milan. Okay, so Amy Kate asks, how do you deal with negativity? And this is quite a good one. I don't actually have a method or anything to deal with it I just you just kind of learn how to live with it basically and you just learn to basically deal with it if that makes sense my skin has actually got thicker through doing YouTube whenever I first started doing YouTube and I started my videos started to go out there and I started to bring in heat and bring in like trolls I just remember sitting thinking like holy shit I cannot deal with this you know because this was like a first time thing for me I just was never used to receiving comments and hate like this from absolute strangers it was just so very foreign to me I actually haven't spoke about this on my youtube channel and i wasn't going to but since we're on the topic it was recently and some of you if you have me on snapchat and if you have me on facebook you would know that this happened lad bible uni lad and pretty 52 i think it's called basically they had reached out to me and it was to do with my video that I have here on YouTube to do with my how I clean my false lashes and they reached out to me and they were like hey we love your video we would actually love to feature this on our Facebook page website whatever um so they were basically just asking me for my permission to use my video so I was like yes of course you can like that's not a problem thank you so much for asking yeah <laughs> long story short I read through the comments and I actually have never read more nasty comments about myself. Well, basically all over the heads of the makeup I was wearing. To be fair, I am wearing a shit ton of makeup. I was actually a bit embarrassed about how much makeup I was even wearing in that video myself. Never mind what everybody else was thinking. I get hate in dribs and drabs. Whereas this night, it was just severe hate, hate, hateful comments in such a heavy load all at one time and I couldn't take it like I went on to snapchat and I will admit I broke down. That was a lot of negativity thrown towards my way and what I tend to do is I always look at the positive side. I always look at the brighter side. So what I'd done with that was I actually took the positivity out of that. Um, it was actually later on that night I was scrolling through I think it was Twitter and Instagram and stuff and I was so positive after all of that bullshit had happened like my heart and my soul and my head was so positive and it was like this is weird like I should I should feel such hate towards humans now I should feel anger I should feel everything 
but positivity. These people are throwing hate at me, they're saying nasty things, nasty comments. I know how I feel now, I know how it made me feel, it made me great on Snapchat like a big baby. Um, so now I'm kind of thinking about myself, would I ever want to make somebody else feel like that? No. So therefore I would never online say a nasty thing or a nasty comment about anybody or to their face. Never mind online and the fact that you don't even know the person and you don't know their background, you don't know what's going on in here, you just don't know anything. I will never make anybody feel the way I was made feel that night and that is how I deal with negativity. I always take the positive side of it which sounds really weird and I don't even know if I'm making sense but yeah. Okay, so that's me finished. I'm just gonna give my face just one final spritz of this L'Oreal Chic and Glow Spray and then I think I'm actually just gonna fix my hair and then I'm gonna come back and I'm actually gonna just sit and answer the rest of them. I might as well, I'm not doing anything. So Shannon Marshall asked, what is your guilty pleasure? Mm. A six foot bearded man who likes fishing, camping, hiking and mountain climbing, very adventurous and I like soggy crisps. What kind of videos do you make the most money off on YouTube? None in particular by the way. Money in YouTube is a very very taboo question actually. What videos do you hate filming? Um, <laughs> I was gonna say all of them there but that's not true. <laughs> um, I hate filming f for full face first impressions um, because they're time consuming. They're an absolute bugger to edit and I just kind of find that with me personally, I find that sometimes I'm not the most informative person. I'll notice that I've literally just put the product on my face. I haven't actually told you guys about it. I haven't told you the experience I'm having with it, whether I like it, I don't like it, what it's doing on my skin, how it's acting on my skin, how it's lying on my skin, how it's reacting with the other products. Um, I just can't seem to actually talk in depth about a particular product and especially whenever you're expected to do that with every single product with it being a full face first impressions that to me is just <clears throat> um have I any experiences with birth control no not really I've been on the pill for a couple of years now and that's just it um advice on my parents not allowing me and my boyfriend in my room we're 16 and 17 Honestly, that is still quite young if I'm being honest. I remember whenever I was 16, 17 and I was in that situation and I was like to my mum, I look back now and it's them rules are laid down for a reason, trust me. Whenever you're in your parents' house, you have to respect their their rules, even though they're crap. Samantha asked, what is your most embarrassing story ever? Oh God. Um, not actually going to say what my most embarrassing story ever is, um, but there has been a few occasions where I have peed myself. Although, do you know what? There is actually a really embarrassing story that every time I think about it, I literally just want to crumble and die. But I've spoke about it on YouTube before. Screw it, I'll tell you something. I. There was this day I was in work. I was in the hair salon, that was grand. This was back whenever my wee sister was actually moving away over to Manchester to go to uni. So my mum was going with her and my dad was going with her. So basically that night, I had a free house. <laughs> that night, Kyle, my boyfriend, was staying with me. Throughout the day while I was in work, my granny had texted me. And usually whenever you text on the iPhone, so say for example, the last person I text was my dad. If I locked my phone and I just unlock it, it goes straight onto my dad's messages. It was straight onto my granny's messages, little did I know. So I got to thinking and work, oh, me and Kyle have a free house tonight. So I sent him a little risky text. I sent him a text, I can't exactly remember how it went, but I just was like, oh, free house tonight, blah, blah, blah. How about we go and get pizza? We'll have a shower together or a bath together. It started to eventually get very dirty and very graphic in the text that I'm obviously not going to mention. <laughs> um, yes, I did get very vulgar with my boyfriend through text and I, have regretted it every day since and I sent that text to my granny. <laughs> 
as soon as I'd done it, I there were so many things going through my mind. Jumping off the ban was one of them. Honestly, one of those situations where you just had to tell somebody. <laughs> Because I mean, it was just like, oh my god, what do I do? What do I do? What do I do? What do I do? I was like, my life's over. So I went out the back and I rang Kyle. I told him the whole story. While I was on the phone to Kyle, my phone beeped and I was like, oh my god, it's my granny texting me back. She's disowned me. She's she's not angry. She's just disappointed. I am... Um, I'm dead. Got off the phone to Kyle, checked my phone. It was my wee sister. Ha ha ha. We all just seen the message she sent to granny. Now, let's rewind. Obviously, my wee sister was going off to uni. My mum and my dad and my wee sister had stopped off at my granny's house, my granny and granda's house, to say their goodbyes and whatever. It just happened to be that I texted my granny that as soon as everybody was at the house to say goodbye to my wee sister. And my granny read out to everybody. Yeah, that was it. That was it. From there on, I was doomed. It's it's forgotten about now, hopefully by them. <laughs> but I I have not forgotten it. Do you know something that's actually really sick <laughs> was the fact that my granny literally thought that that message was actually for her. Yeah, granny, because I'm going to want to jar with you and uh, get physical. That's jail time. Thank you guys so so much for watching and thank you so much to everybody that sent me a question. I think I got through all of them actually but I just want to let you know that I am 100% getting back into my regular filming routine. Thank you so so much for sticking by me always and yeah don't forget to follow me on Snapchat, Instagram and Twitter and I will also link and list my Depop down below as well. This is just the wee app where I am selling clothes and I will soon be selling makeup on it as well. Clothes that are unused by the way and brand new and clothes and makeup that is unused and brand new also so I will also leave that down below if you want to check that out and, and buy some things off me. I haven't got international shipping turned on at the minute but if you are from somewhere international out of the UK or Ireland and you are wanting to buy something please do message me and I will then turn it on and send it to your country. Um, there will be a charge for it obviously but yeah don't forget to follow me on all of those and thank you guys so so much for watching and hopefully I will see you in tomorrow's video.